Recent disclosures by officials from the Israeli Defense Forces and the United States government have unearthed a disturbing trend among extremist Islamic militias. It has been reported that Hamas militants utilized a synthetic drug to facilitate the October 7, 2023 attacks on Israel. Ground officers from the CIA and the Israeli military have discovered quantities of a counterfeit stimulant drug known as Captagon with arrested and deceased Hamas combatants. Also called as the jihadist drug or Captain Courage, Captagon is said to have induced a violent frenzy, enabling the militias to assault defenseless Israeli civilians. Despite Islamic teachings that strictly prohibit the use of drugs, under penalty of death in countries like Iran and Saudi Arabia, it appears that jihadist militants have been consuming Captagon for years. This drug is among the most trafficked in the Middle East. But several questions arise. Who manufactures this drug? What exactly is Captagon? How is it trafficked in the Middle East? Is there a link between Captagon and Mexican drug cartels? In this episode of Illicit Investigations, we explore into the clandestine networks behind the trafficking of Captagon, a drug used by jihadist militants in the Middle East and Africa to execute heinous attacks on civilian populations. We explore the governments implicated in the production and distribution of this dangerous substance and its alleged connections to powerful Mexican cartels. Stay tuned as we present evidence and new revelations about the drug that is fueling religious conflicts around the world. During the conflict with Hamas in the Gaza Strip in the West Bank, the Israel Defense Forces unearthed evidence suggesting a connection between Middle Eastern extremist groups, Arab world governments, and Mexican cartels. Israeli security officials reported finding small bags of a drug known as Captagon, available as tablets or a cocaine-like powder. These were discovered alongside ammunition in the garments and tactical equipment worn by militants who infiltrated two dozen communities on Israel's southern frontier with the Gaza Strip on October 7, 2023. Officials also mentioned finding small bottles filled with a white fluid mixed with traces of Captagon on the bodies of the assailants. Widely abused in the Middle East, this potent stimulant, often consumed at rave parties by the youth, was also seized from some captured Hezbollah members during the Israeli military and police operations. The substance is believed to have played a pivotal role in the Hamas attack, the most lethal in Israel's 75-year history. Captagon is notorious for inducing a frenzied state of mind and has been a drug of choice among Islamic State combatants, particularly in Iraq and Syria. Its effects, which include prolonged periods of wakefulness, calmness, and concentration without the need for food. The drug is known to suppress fear and hunger, which is crucial during protracted combat. Specialists suggest that the drug's influence might shed light on the brutality of the assaults and explain why the Israeli civilians suffered atrocities such as torture, immolation, and in some instances, sexual assault and beheading. Captagon was the trade name for phenethylene, an amphetamine derivative with stimulant effects similar to those of its parent compound. It was synthesized in 1961 by a German chemical company and was used in Europe for over two decades to treat hyperactivity disorders in children, narcolepsy, and depression. When it became clear that its addictive properties outweighed its benefits, Captagon was discontinued as a pharmaceutical product in the 1980s. However, by 2016, the illicit production of the drug had escalated in the Arabian Peninsula and North Africa, partly because it is simple to manufacture, requiring only inexpensive laboratory equipment and readily available raw materials. Each year, millions of illicit Captagon tablets are confiscated, amounting to one-third of the global seizures of amphetamines. In recent times, it has turned into a multi-billion dollar black market drug, extensively used both recreationally and by day laborers across the Middle East. Captagon is especially prevalent among the affluent youth in Middle Eastern countries such as Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, and Qatar. Taken in small to moderate doses, Captagon can increase heart rate, body temperature, respiration, and blood pressure. Long-term use of amphetamines can lead to severe side effects, including but not limited to profound depression, lethargy, sleep deprivation, cardiovascular toxicity, and malnutrition. Approximately 80% of the global supply of Captagon is currently produced in Syria, as reported by U.S. and British intelligence. The production and distribution of Captagon are described as a financial lifeline for the regime of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad. 
Italian police seized in July 2020 about 14 tons of Captagon pills worth around $1.2 billion in what they described as the world's single largest operation of its kind. The 84 million pills of Captagon were found hidden inside machinery in three containers coming from Syria. Syrian factions connected to Assad's inner circle and Hezbollah, a powerful Lebanon-based militant group supported by Iran, are involved in the production of Captagon. The black market version of the drug, which may include a variety of substances such as amphetamine and caffeine, is extensively used by young people in the Arab world, even within elite circles. The CIA reports that the Syrian Captagon trafficking network spans 17 countries, from Italy to Malaysia. These countries are involved in various aspects of the trade, including the supply of precursor chemicals, production, transit, and distribution. Large shipments of Captagon pills are sent from Syrian ports like Latakia or smuggled across the borders with Jordan and Iraq by traffickers supported by armed groups and local tribal networks, according to U.S. intelligence reports. While the Arabian Peninsula remains the primary market for Captagon, an increasing quantity is consumed in countries that were once mere transit points, including Jordan and Iraq. Since 2013, in the war against the Islamic State in Syria, Western security forces have identified a common and horrific trait among the ISIS combatants. They went into battle indifferent to whether they lived or died, committing horrific actions against their enemies. ISIS was fueled by the abuse of Captagon. Many Islamic State fighters captured and interviewed by the U.S. military reported that the drug gave them a sense of invincibility, allowing them to disregard stress, hardship, and the physical pain of battle. However, the Islamic State and Hamas are not the first terrorist groups to use drugs to advance their cause. The CIA has frequently encountered Taliban and Al-Qaeda fighters under the influence of amphetamines similar to Captagon. The concept of terrorists using drugs prior to attacks to either sustain themselves or to increase their brutality has indeed been substantiated. In 2018, the leadership of Hamas finalized an agreement with the Sinaloa cartel, headed by Ismail El Mayo Zambada. Hamas assisted the cartel in constructing tunnels from Mexican border towns to the U.S. for the purpose of smuggling drugs and migrants. In return, the Sinaloa cartel sent experts to the Middle East to aid in the production of Captagon in various forms including powder, pills, and liquid. They also shared techniques for concealing drugs to facilitate their passage through international borders. Intercepted phone calls in southern Turkey and Syria captured Arab drug traffickers uttering Puro Mayo Zambada, indicating a connection to the Mexican cartel leader. Beyond exchanging knowledge to bolster their illicit activities, the Sinaloa cartel, Hamas, and other Islamic organizations have reportedly established intricate networks for money laundering. According to intelligence reports obtained by illicit investigations, the Sinaloa cartel has set up offices in Dubai and Doha. Their aim is to expand their drug distribution networks to include cocaine along with Captagon throughout the Arab world. Nemesio Osegura Cervantes, also known as El Mencho, is one of the most powerful criminals on Earth. The Jalisco New Generation Cartel, under his leadership, has a presence in nearly every Mexican state and extends its reach into several countries, including those within the Arab world. Since 2015, El Mencho has nurtured a close relationship with the now-defunct FARC guerrilla group from Colombia. His inner security ring comprises former FARC combatants, which facilitated his expansion into Syria, Lebanon, and other Middle Eastern nations. Previously designated as a terrorist organization by the U.S., FARC was a staunch ally of the Venezuelan government, Iran, Hezbollah, and the Syrian regime before engaging in a peace process with the Colombian government. El Mencho has leveraged connections with former FARC members to extend his cartel's operations to the Middle East. The CJNG is the preeminent methamphetamine producer in Mexico. Intelligence reports by illicit investigations revealed that El Mencho has dispatched cooks to Syria and Lebanon to aid in the production of Captagon in exchange of including his drugs in their distribution networks in the Middle East. Moreover, he routinely sends shipments of Colombian cocaine to his affiliates in Lebanon from the ports of Guayaquil in Ecuador and Buenaventura in Colombia. Islamic organizations like Hezbollah and FARC dissidents have trained CJNG hitmen in crafting improvised explosive devices. 
These devices are frequently used by El Mencho against adversaries and police units in states such as Jalisco, Michoacan, and Guanajuato. The 2020 attack on Omar Garcia Harfouk, the former Secretary of Security for Mexico City, was orchestrated using strategies from both the FARC and Middle Eastern influences. Carlos Rivera, alias La Firma, a former member of the Colombian FARC and now a leader within a faction of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, was designated by El Mencho to execute the attack on Garcia Harfouk. As Captagon continues to stroke the fires of Islamic terror in the Middle East, its ties with Mexican cartels are strengthening day by day. This is Illicit Investigations. Subscribe now to our channel to go beyond the headlines.